This is Ray Duan with Pocketnow.com in part 3 of the video review for the Electrovea Scribbler SC4000. Today I'm going to go through the handwriting recognition software as well as the speech recognition software. First let's go through the handwriting software. Right now I have Notepad open and if you look on the left side of the screen you'll notice that there's a little icon sticking out from the side. This is the tablet PC input panel. If I hover over it, it sticks out a little bit further, and then tapping it brings it out in full view of the screen. Another way to get to this is if you're in Word or Internet Explorer, if you hover over an area where you actually want to type and just tap on it, tap on the screen, another icon comes up that again just denotes the tablet PC input panel and starts the input panel right over where you tapped it. So let me move this out in the middle here. There are three handwriting recognition uh, methods here, or input methods I should say. The first is the writing pad, the second is the character pad, and the third is the on-screen keyboard. On the writing pad, all you do is just write in this yellow area above the line, and if I write this is a test, period, it recognizes my handwriting. If you notice, my handwriting is not the gra uh, greatest in the world. And what it does is it puts the words in the just below the line and it kind of predicts what it thinks you're writing. And so here it, it, it predicted pretty correctly. It said, you know, it wrote down this is a test. And if I want to put it into whatever I'm writing into, you just tap on the insert button and there it goes. Another thing you can do on this little input pad, this uh, writing pad here, is let's say I made a mistake. Let's say I write thank you. Let's say I wrote it thank you with an A. Or here it thinks I wrote thank young. What you can do is you can use the eraser pad on your tablet pen here and just erase the, the each letter or the whole word. Or if I wanted to erase a whole word, just strike through it. Or the last option you can do is just pick one of the words that it predicted, tap on it, and it brings you to this other screen where it has some words it thinks you're trying to write, or you can sit here and you can actually delete the whole word, delete individual letters, for example here, let's delete the K here, or you can just write right in the panel, right in each of the individual boxes. And I can click OK and insert. The next input method is the character pad, so I'm going to hit enter here. If I go to the character pad, like it kind of indicates, you just write one character at a time. So I'm going to write thanks again. And here you can see it thinks I, the A that I wrote was a 9. To correct it, all I have to do, just kind of like in the handwriting recognition area, is just write the A. Or just click on the little down arrow and it kind of tries to predict what you're trying to write there. And you just input it right in. And there you go. And then the last input method is the on-screen keyboard. Similar to Windows Mobile devices, it just replicates a QWERTY keyboard, and you can just type on the, uh, the keyboard here, and it will show up real time. So I'll write this is, oops, a test again. So it works pretty well. Uh, the keyboard automatically comes up on fields that are password related, like on a web page. If you're trying to log into a your bank account or if you're trying to log onto a, uh, a user form, the keyboard comes up on the password portion of the fields. It makes it a little easier for you because if you're trying to do the handwriting, it may not predict it properly. After using this handwriting software for a few weeks, I noticed that it, while it was cool and fun to use, uh, I found there were times where I would have preferred having a full keyboard where I, I could actually type faster than I can actually write and after a while my hand kind of cramps up because I think part of it is just I'm used to using the keyboard but uh, you know in the most part it worked pretty accurately there were times where it just didn't recognize what I was writing at all and you'd have to go back and correct it so while it's a, a neat application I think a lot of users will still prefer having the keyboard I think the the only time I've really actually used the handwriting application is with Windows Journal which I'm going to show you real quick right here. Again, it's just a lined piece of paper, and I just take notes during meetings on this. And it was just nice and easy to do. I didn't have a bunch of papers just laying around. So that was the handwriting recognition software. Let me go into the speech software. 
On the system icon tray here at the bottom, if I click on it, up comes a menu to start the software. I'm going to turn it on and it will just start recognizing what you're trying to do through some basic commands. For example, if I say start menu, the start menu comes up. Uh, I can also say start menu again, start menu, and it closes it down. You can also launch applications in the same method. I could say start Windows Media Player and the application starts up. I can also say close, close, and the application closes down. Another use for this speech recognition software is if I were to go into Notepad, I can actually start speaking, uh, speaking to it and it will start transcribing uh, the, any words I say. So for example, let me start Notepad here. And actually, I'll do it through the voice recognition. Start Notepad. And the application is up. And as you can see, it was trying to recognize what I was trying to say. So it's, it, it recognizes some of my, my words, but it doesn't recognize all of them. So you can see at the end where I said them, it says it typed in the. You can also say some uh, other commands. For example, I could say delete sentence. And it deleted the whole sentence for me. You could also say delete word. Delete word. Or you could say backspace. And I'll show you right here. Backspace. Backspace. Close. Don't save. So it's a pretty neat little toy to play with. I think a lot of the a lot of the handwriting uh or I should say a lot of the speech recognition is not completely accurate as as you notice there, but you know, as as Microsoft works at this, I hopefully it will get better in the future. So this has been Ray Duan with PocketNow.com and part three of the video review of the Electrovea Scribbler SC4000.